Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the soil mechanics. In this lecture, we are going to find some unknown parameter of the soil through the numerical example. So the problem states if a soil sample has a dry unit weight of 19.5 kN per cubic meter, moisture content of 8%, and a specific gravity of the solid particle is 2.67, then find out the wide ratio in porosity of the soil, the moisture unit weight and the saturated unit weight of the soil sample. So, to start with the solution, first I have to write the given data from the problem. The problem is a given data of the dry unit weight of the soil sample is 19.5. So, I can write it here. The dry unit weight of the soil sample is 19.5 kN per cubic meter. The moisture content of the soil sample is 8%. Is 8% or I can write in decimal is like 0 0.08 and a specific gravity of the soil particle is 2.67 so a specific gravity GS is equal to 2.67 now I'm interested to find out the wide ratio and porosity the first task is to find out the wide ratio and porosity so wide ratio is represented usually by E it is unknown to us so I can I can use the famous equation of the dry unit weight and this is the gamma dry equal to specific gravity multiplying with the unit weight of water dividing by the 1 plus wide ratio. So by using this equation I can find out the wide ratio because the dry unit weight of the soil sample is known to us which is 19.5. The specific gravity of the solid particle used in the soil is known to us, which is 2.67 here. This is also known to us. And the gamma W, which is the unit weight of the water. The unit weight of the water is, the standard value of the unit weight of the water is 9.81 kN per cubic meter. This is the unit weight of the water. It is also known to us. So, the only unknown is wide ratio. So, we can find the wide ratio from this equation. So, how? So just uh, plugging the values in this equation, so I will get the gamma dry is 19.5 equal to GS is 2.7 which is the specific gravity multiplying it with the unit weight of the water which is 9.81 dividing it by 1 plus E. So from this equation after solving, I am getting the wide ratio of value of 0.343. This is the wide ratio of the style sample. It means this amount of wide are present in this soil sample out of 100 solid particles. So now what is the porosity? Wide ratio and porosity. So porosity is simple to find because uh, porosity and wide ratio are related to one another by this equation. So it comes out to be 0.343 is the wide ratio which we found out dividing by 1 plus 0.343 and solving this simple equation uh, dividing this by this value we get 0.255 so this is the porosity of this soil sample this soil sample has that much porosity 0.255 now the second part of this task is to find out the moisture unit weight the moisture unit weight of the soil is the unit weight of the soil when the white spaces of the soil are being filled with water and air so to find out the moisture unit weight this formula can be used to find out the moisture unit weight which is equal to the gamma dry unit weight gamma dry and multiplying it with the 1 plus water content of the soil sample so the gamma moisture comes out to be gamma dry is known to us which is 19.5 one is here and water content of this soil sample is also known to us which is 0 0.08 0 0.08 so this should be in decimal right to find out uh, the gamma moisture this should be in decimal not in percentage so after calculating this value i found out gamma moisture is equal to 21.06 kilonewton per cubic meter so this is the gamma moisture, the moisture unit weight of the soil sample. Now to find out the saturated unit weight, 
Now the last task of this problem is to find out the saturated unit weight. So C is saturated unit weight. It is the unit weight of the soil when all the white spaces of, when all the white spaces of the soil has been filled with water. So it means there is no remaining white spaces without water. So this unit weight of the soil is called the saturated unit weight. So saturated unit weight can be found out by this formula. Gamma dry multiplying with the 1 plus water content. It is the similar formula used to find out the moisture unit weight but in saturated unit weight this moisture content should be the saturated mo moisture content. So how to find this moisture content because it is not the same as this one. It is the water content in which there is full degree of saturation in the soil sample. So it means the water content a degree of saturation is unknown to us. So for the saturation condition, we know that the degree of saturation is equal to 1 or we can say 100% because all the white spaces are filled with water, so we call the degree of saturation of the soil sample is 1. So now to find out the water content with the degree of saturation equal to 1, we can use this formula in which degree of saturation multiplied with the water ratio equal to the specific gravity of the soil sample and the water content water content with the saturation so we can find out this is known to us which is 100 percent water ratio is known to us we find out in the previous case and uh, g is, is a specific gravity which is also known to us and only this one is unknown to us the wide ratio we found out previously was e was 0 0.343 so just putting all this value in this equation so degree of saturation is 1 so 1 multiplying with the y ratio is 0.343 and gs is a specific root which is 2.67 multiplying with the water content at the degree of saturation equal to 1 or we can say the water content at the saturation level. So by solving this equation we found out that the water content at the saturation level comes out to be 0.1285 or we can say 12.85 percent this is the water content when there is full saturation in the soil sample so now putting this value into this equation because gamma dry is known to us and one is the standard value and only this gamma water is only this saturation water content is unknown to us so we found out that it comes out to be 12.8 percent or 0.1285 so gamma saturated now it will comes out to be gamma dry was 19.5 and putting this value to 1 plus and this value is 0.1825 you should always use the decimal value not the percentage so gamma saturated comes out to be 22 kilonewton per cubic meter so this is the saturation level in which the water content is all over present the in the white spaces of the soil sample. So we call this unit weight of the soil is called as the saturated unit weight and it comes out to be 22 kN per cubic meter. Hope you guys understand how to find the unknown parameters of a soil sample if some known parameters are given to us and we want to find the wide ratio porosity in moisture unit weight and the saturated unit weight. So by using these relation we can find out the unknown parameters. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.